tell the truth. So please listen again, if you will, while I read her affidavit. I, Hermine Zawacki, am a licensed barber in a men's barber shop. I am secretary treasurer of my local barber's union and the first woman vice president of the State Barber's Association. In high school, I played on the girls' basketball team. I have also worked as a movie usher. Among my souvenirs is a picture of myself and Dagmar. Once I had dinner aboard the atomic submarine Nautilus. I swear that the above information is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Signed, Hermaine Zawacki. Now, while the challengers are being seated, there is something that I would like to say. Friends, it certainly is true that as the weather gets colder, you may suffer more from common rheumatic and arthritic-like pains. And when this happens, I wish you'd try Zaramin, the important new advance for the relief of these pains. Now, Zaramin is actually a pill within a pill. Let me show you what this means to you. Now, here is a Zaramin pill. And over here, we have a model of this pill. It offers this new advance. As you can see, Zaramin contains an outer pill that brings fast, effective relief. Temporary relief, however, and it has an inner pill that brings more relief hours later, thus giving you longer-lasting relief. As a result, you enjoy more freedom from pain and therefore more freedom of movement. Zaramin is safe, taken as directed, and if pain persists, see your doctor. But get Zaramin, the important new advance at your drugstore now. You must get more freedom from common rheumatic and arthritic-like pain or your money back. All right, time once again to get along with our game panel. These three people, as you heard, all claim to be Hermaine Zawacki, Lady Barber. Now, panel, you'll each question again for 30 seconds at a time. At the end of five minutes, you'll again be asked to uh, register your vote for the one person who, in your opinion, is the real Hermaine Zawacki. And this time, we'll go to the ladies again and ask Polly to start with the 30 seconds. Polly? Well, I'd like to start by saying the two who aren't are learning pretty good just to pronounce the name. <laughs> the very beginning. Uh, I'm glad I can say number one. <clears throat> uh, number one, when did you have your picture taken with Dagmar? It was back in 1953, on and board the Elizabeth, the Queen on Elizabeth. On board the Queen Elizabeth? Yes. And why? How did it come about? Well, I was sailing home for a visit to England, and uh, she was aboard the boat, signing autographs. I see. Number two, uh, where are you from? Norwich, Connecticut. Snuck that in under the wire. Mike Wallace. Uh, number three, where do you uh, barber? In Manhattan, New York. Number one, where? In Manhattan, New York. Number one, what is the price for a men's haircut? A dollar and a quarter. Number three, what about it? dollar and a quarter. What about a manicure? Uh, one dollar. Number one, what about a manicure? We don't give manicures. <laughs> number two, how much do you charge for shave? One dollar. What is the name of your shop steward, number two? Uh, number three, what is the name of your shop steward? I am the shop, the shop steward. Number one, what is the name of your shop steward? I am the shop steward. They're all sneaking in another wire. Hildy, you're next. Now you're all basketball players, eh? Number three, where did you go to high school? Uh, in Manhattan. Uh, number two? In Norwich, Connecticut. And number one? Norwich, England. Norwich, Connecticut and Norwich, England? Oh, I think that's wonderful. Um, number two, uh, how long did you have to study to become a barber? Six months. And is that after <laughs> high school? No. And if you are president of the State Barbers Association, are you, uh, the Connecticut Barbers Association? Yeah. And you're the only woman in the state of Connecticut who is... He certainly is. <laughs> Dick Benson. Uh, number two, uh, if your razor slips and you cut some poor guy, what are you, what's the first thing you do? I apologize. We'll move on to number three. Uh, number three, how much do you charge to uh, trim a beard? Oh, any, just a beard? You... Just a beard. Well, 50 cents, 75 cents. 50 or 75, mm -hmm. depending on the you size of the beard. Hair. What would you charge for a Van Dyke? <laughs> 75. <laughs> <laughs> that settles that. Uh, number, who's it going to ask? Molly Bergen. Uh, number three, what position did you play on your basketball team? A guard. A guard? Mm -hmm. um, let's see, number two, 
what position did you play? Uh, guard. A guard. Number number one? A guard. A guard. They're all guards. Well. Uh, let's see. Uh, number one, uh, where were you a movie usher? In England. In Norwich, England. England. I see. And number two? Norwich, Connecticut. Well, get back to there. Number three? In the Bronx. Oh, we're getting near my home now. <laughs> Mike Waller, number one, how many, how many men are on a basketball team? Five. Uh, number two, how many men on a basketball team? I don't know. Number three? Five men on a basketball Under what circumstances did you have dinner aboard the Nautilus? Who are you addressing? Number three, I'm sorry. Uh, my brother is the chief torpedo man aboard the submarine. What's the name of the commanding officer of the, of the uh, Nautilus? Oh, that wasn't necessary for dinner. I don't know. <laughs> did you eat in the wardroom? Pardon? Did you eat in the wardroom? Yes, I, it might have been. It might have been. Yes, it might. Hildy? Number one, when did you have dinner aboard the Nautilus? It was about a year ago. Is this before or after the shakedown? <laughs> All right. Sorry, I brought the whole thing up. Uh, number three, uh, do you know how many men are in the crew aboard the Nautilus? No, I don't. Signed from your brother. Um, in England, number one, when you are an usher in a motion picture theater uh, and you seat somebody, do they tip you? No, ma'am. Do they just do that in Europe? I wouldn't know. Oh, I see. All right. Well, Dick Van Dyke, number one, where is your barber shop? On 50th Street, close to 10th Avenue. Close to 10th Avenue. Uh, were you a, bar a barber, is that right? A feminine? Yes. Barbarous? Uh, no. Before you came to this country? No. Uh, do you find it was, it was hard to, to pass the examinations, the state examinations for barber? I don't think so. I enjoyed it. What do you have to do? Well, you, uh, after 30 days, you certainly have to make your first haircut. <laughs> At least that, I would say. <laughs> Polly Birkin. Uh, well, I don't know about them, but could I ask Kelly what a shakedown is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, forget it. All right. Uh, shake down food. <laughs> or shake down for whatever she said. Uh, number one, could you tell me how much a barber's license costs? Five dollars. And number two, what do you say? That's all the time we have. We've come to a point now where we should be able to successfully separate fact from fiction. So please mark your ballots, if you will. And again, while our panel is voting, here's a final look at the team of challengers so that you friends at home can decide whether the real Hermaine Zawacki is number one, number two, or number three. Now may I have the ballot, please? Okay, remember there were four votes cast, one vote from each of our cross-examiners, and the team of challengers will get $250 for every incorrect vote. Again, as I said before, if they fool the entire panel, they can split up $1,000. Let's see how the panel voted. Holly Bergen voted for number three as the Lady Barber. Mike Wallace marked his ballot for number three. Hilly Parks believes it to be number three. And Dick Van Dyke is marked as his choice Number three, we have a unanimous vote. Take a look there now. For number one, no votes. For number two, no votes. For number three, the unanimous choice of the panel as the Lady Barber. Now, the die is cast, ladies and gentlemen. Wait Are you there. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes. Correction yes. over here. Yes. Correction. Yes. What? Go ahead, Dick. What, didn't I I beg your down? pardon. It blended in. I'll show you what it did. You see how it looks like a three? It does. sure does. Number two. It should have been a number two, so correct that. Number two got one vote, Dick yeah. Van Dyke, but we'll I want to prove that I wasn't four. crazy. There it is. See? It does look like a number three. All right, number two. So a recapitulation again will correct that error. For number one, no vote still. For number two, one vote, Dick Van Dyke. And for number three, three votes. Okay, with the correction having gotten out of the way, we waste no time. Whether you're ready or not, here we go. Will the real Hermaine Zawacki please stand up? <laughs> I must say I'm glad you filed your protest there. <laughs> Question. Yes, oh, you got a minute. Well, let's, let's find out about the others first before you have the questions. Number one, what is your uh, real name and what do you do? My name is Lorna Kersey, and I'm an elevator operator. And how about number three? S-O-I-G, I'm head of a draft board. 
Whoa. <laughs> All right, Polly, we'll go right down the line. Polly, what do you Well, want? I'd just like to know why number two didn't know any of the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, well, why didn't you know how many people on a basketball team yeah. if you yeah, played yeah. basketball? Well, you I were... played on a girls' team. That's right. And I asked you about men's team. Yeah. There are, I think, six, are there not, on a girls' team? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think there are six. six. Yes, she played on a girls' team. You asked how many on a men's basketball team. Yes. I asked. Yes, there is. Mike, uh, uh, I asked you what your shop steward's name was, I believe. And d don't you know your shop steward's name? Really? Well, uh, I didn't know that's what it is. A shop steward, we call it business agent. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Hilda, you were waving frantically. What's your question? Well, actually, I wanted to ask about the basketball team, too. But now that that's been solved, how come you had dinner aboard the Nautilus? Well, uh, my girlfriend... Um, is a torpedo man. Uh, <laughs> your boyfriend, Al Lewis, is uh, stationed aboard the Nautilus. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have. <laughs> We're now getting down to some more questions. I know you were eager to ask, but now while we congratulate our team of challenges, that was a real fun one. There were three incorrect votes, as you can see, for a total of $750 for our team of challengers. And with our best wishes, thank you for providing us with some more fun and questions and answers. Good night and good luck. Before we return to our panel, here's Bob Shepard with a word from our all its sponsor, Geritol. Our friends, with reports of cold weather spreading across many parts of the country, it looks as though we have a rough winter ahead of us. So remember, if you feel tired and run down, especially after a cold, flu, sore throat, or virus, you may be suffering from what doctors call iron deficiency anemia. We call it, more simply, tired blood. Check with your doctor. And to feel stronger fast, take Geritol, the high-potency tonic that begins to strengthen tired blood in only 24 hours. Why, just two tablespoons of liquid Geritol or two Geritol tablets contain twice the iron in a pound of calf's liver. So remember, if you feel tired and run down because of tired blood, take Geritol, liquid or tablet, every day. You'll feel stronger fast. Within seven days, or your money back. And friends, if you've never tried Geritol and you'd like to try it, why, you can get Geritol tablets in this new trial size. And now, back to Bud Collier and to tell the truth. And now it's time to say goodnight to our panel, whose names, in case you were forgotten, are... My name is Mrs. Calabash, wherever I am. My name is Scrooge. <laughs> My name is Jubilation T. Cornpone. <laughs> My name's Doodles Weaver. <laughs> ah, to tell the truth, my name is Bud Collier, saying goodbye until next week. <laughs> Travel arrangements for To Tell the Truth are made through American Airlines. American Airlines flies our contestants in luxurious comfort for DC-7 flagship. To Tell the Truth is a Mark Goodson, Bill Putman production in association with the CBS Television Network. If you often can't sleep at night, if you toss and turn your nerves on edge, here's a new aid to sleep that helps you enjoy 100% safe sleep. It's called Somonex. Somonex contains not just one, but three medical ingredients, all working together to help you enjoy safe, natural-like sleep and to help calm down jittery nerves. Somonex contains no narcotics, non-habit forming. Get Somonex at your drugstore now. Take as directed for 100% safe sleep. Theramon. The important new advance for relief of common rheumatic and arthritic-like pains has presented to tell the truth. Be sure to watch Geritol's exciting new quiz program, 21 with Jack Berry, every Wednesday night over another episode. Now this is Bob Shepard, wishing you good health and a Merry Christmas from Pharmaceuticals Incorporated, who brings you Zarin...